Yeah, buddy, here we go. Here we go. So, we got some rain early morning. Um, man, hold on, let me. I don't want to get stuck. Let me activate my 4x4 real quick. It looks ugly coming down, but uh yeah man, we got a we got some rain. So it's real muddy right now. I'm hoping I can make it up this hill without sliding. But um so we haven't got to the yards yet. This is what it's looking like right now. Um, I'm gonna keep y'all posted, see what the day looks like. We will be getting to the couple yards I gotta do, but um, I'm waiting for it to dry up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump, dump the load that I picked up yesterday. And then we'll take it from there. But this is what it's looking like right now. I am at the landfill landfill and it is it's muddy they move things around here all the time but uh this is what we looking at man this is what we're looking at yee Muddy Bubba. Look, look, look. I got regular tennis shoes because my Justin boots finally gave out, so I gotta go get me some new boots today. But uh anyways, here we go. Ah. I hate all these nails that get the tarp stuck. Out of there. Get that out of there. Yeah, man. You been to a landfill? Ooh, it stinks out here. It does not smell lovely. You get used to it. I'd rather not get used to it, but. You get used to it. Nice truck, man. Pretty good, ain't you? Huh? Pretty good. Ain't yeah, you? I didn't get the hat. I didn't get the whole ton of 3,500 like I should have, but and you got the Cummins. I got the Gasly, but. Well, I think when I go back next time, I'm gonna be 2,500. Really? Yeah, I don't, yeah. You don't do heavy stuff. I don't maximize it. I don't have to. Gotcha, gotcha. Really? I've got another truck. Well, if I pulled that trailer there this truck, then I have to have a CDL license. It doesn't matter if you're missing. They can pull you over. Really? If you don't have a CDL license for the truck and trailer, wow. capacity, they can give you tickets. Wow. Well, that's good to know, then. See, I, well, I mean, I don't have a CDL license. But I hear it's easier to get a CDL when it's just a truck and a trailer than as far as, like, you know, 18-wheelers go. Well, the problem is, I got a bad eye, I can't pass it on. Oh, okay, okay. Blow that off now. Get it all debris free. And this was the load right here. Got a basketball go. My little boy wanted that, but ah, we'll buy him a new one. And somebody came and dumped a bunch of new shoes and cups and, and boxes and everything. But you see it, that's what the load was looking like. It's going down. All right, man, quick interruption, man. I wanted to talk about something. You know how they say, built for tough? I think they need to change the slogan to built ram tough. You know, and I, I say that because, and don't get me wrong, I like four trucks, you know, and my next truck possibly might be a, a, a F-350 or I might just keep a Ram 3500. But uh, I say that because realistically speaking man every time i come to the landfill on a normal day but especially on a muddy day you know on an ugly day 
the number one truck that you see being put to work is a Ram. And then you might run into a couple Fords and very rarely do you see a Chevy or a GMC. Now, that might not mean a lot to some people, but to me, that means everything because it kind of shows you what trucks these people are relying on and, you know, which ones they're willing to put to work. So, and not just that, you know, when you talk about hot shotting and you talk about these guys out here hauling heavy loads, the majority of the trucks that I see, at least where we are in Texas, is a Ram all in the big loads and then like i said you'll run into you know some fords and very rare do you see chevys you know that i don't know man that's just my opinion i keep my eye open for that for things like that because you know i like to see what what people are relying on and you know so i want to you know i stand behind my ram 2500 it's a hell of a truck you know it, it's hauled some some a good you know amount of weight and it hasn't gave me no problems so i just wanted to share that man uh, like i said my next vehicle i'm looking to go into a ton truck so it might be a f350 or a ram 3500 but um i just i was i was speaking to a guy at the landfill i don't know if i'm gonna leave that that part on here or not but uh, he had a 3500 cummins and he was telling me that if my dump trailer was hooked up to his truck, he would need to have a CDL because of the weight rating. So I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's that's interesting to me. But he said on, on the three-quarter ton truck like mine, it doesn't matter. You know, you won't run into any issues. So that's, that's definitely something I'll be looking into before making the purchase if i decide to get a ton truck you know but um yeah that that you know of course you know that the, the bigger the weight the more problems you're going to run into but um you know those trucks are rated to, to, to haul more weight so they're rated to haul more weight so yeah just wanted to share that i'm a ram guy i wanted a ford before i got my ram i still love fords from i think like 2017 and up prior to that i don't like them um 17 and up i believe when they came out with the squared lights on the sides those those things are gorgeous and um they just look like you know tough trucks tough vehicles so image wise look wise you know i give it to ford but um it's gonna be a tough choice when, when we have to go back and pick out another truck because ram and ford make some awesome trucks so we'll see Anyways, it looks like it's going to rain again. Not 100% sure. I want to go now. I got these lawns, man. I'm st I still have the dump trailer hooked up. We just finished at the landfill. Um, I want to go knock out these lawns, but I don't know how wet the properties are. A lot of stuff is still wet right now. And That being said, it, like I said, it looks like it's going to rain again. So right now I'm on my way to, to buy me some new work boots because my like I said my Justin's finally gave out on me uh, my left foot my left boot the one on my left foot that thing is a pain in that you know what to come off so it's time for some new ones I ran them a whole season um, I, you know I like Justin boots we're gonna see if we keep adjusting or if we go area but area whatever it's called area area no, don't matter same thing you get it so stay tuned um, and we'll see. I haven't heard from the dump trailer people. I don't know if they're going to want me to go drop it off again or not. So, that being said...
right, y'all. Home sweet home. Just quick recap, man. Um, I didn't get footage of the mowing. Well, one property. So, speaking of that, I had my seven-year-old filming, so even though the footage is gonna be sped up, I don't know if I'm gonna show the video, the, the footage before or after this clip, but this is this is gonna be to, to wrap the video up, but uh, it might be a bit shaky, so I might, I'm gonna try my best to kinda clean it up, but um, y'all got to see me go go dump the, uh, the trailer that was loaded all the way. So with that being said, tomorrow, forecast is showing more rain, but we know how that goes, so until it does come down, then you know we'll decide how, how we approach tomorrow. But um, we got a few lawns to go do tomorrow. I have a few lawns to go do tomorrow. So um, we're gonna play that by the weather. Hopefully it doesn't rain so we can get this week knocked out. But um, tomorrow also, in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna talk about the issue I had with my dump trailers and um, cover that up. So as usual like subscribe hit the share button hit the notification button man appreciate y'all tuning in um i know i'm not getting a lot of action shots but um i'm just trying to get things across right now so um Batman. bear with me and stay tuned for more to come again like subscribe hit the share button notifications and uh leave some comments man you know come talk to me leave some comments let me know you know, let me know y'all are tuned in and uh, as always, it's going down.